Would you wear one of these? Remember these? Can't really see it against me, can you? Because it's the same colour as my hair. Um, okay, uh, you would be wearing these to combat rising COVID cases. 0207 862 is the number to give us a ring with your thoughts on this because some scientists have encouraged people to wear masks as a new subvariant sweeps the nation. Uh, Professor Christina Pagel uh, from the University College London said that the new strain is mutating at an alarming rate and could cause a big wave of cases. And um, Professor Tricia Greenhall of Oxford University tweeted this, and my various science WhatsApp groups are buzzing. Imagine being part of something like that. <laughs> I understand uh, little detail, but it looks like it's once again time to mask up. So would you be masking up, Nina? You were quite fond of it in, uh, during COVID. Look, nobody was fond of masking. I mean... But but I would I would happily do it because um, if it if it helps to to save everybody um, or to, to to make the situation. But haven't better, we worked out that it doesn't help to save everybody? It just prolongs the process. No, I, I, I don't, there are there are so many disagreeing topics. But if you look if you look at the logic, the logic of it is an airborne disease. Mm -hmm. If you can prevent it from getting into your eyes, nose, mouth and ears, apparently, um, then you are in some way helping it to stop. But it wasn't it look, proven that it helped more if you had COVID to stop passing it on rather than younger, to stop yourself getting well, it. That's, that's, that's fine for the younger people who t took it and survived. What we're talking about are people who are uh, clinically vulnerable, are over a certain age, and who therefore are, are more susceptible to it mm -hmm. and less likely to survive. And if you look at countries like, well, the country like, look at Japan, for instance. Now, Japan, they're, they're you know, they're, they're very kind of obedient society, but they're also very into mask wearing. They'd all, you know, we'd always seen Japanese tourists wearing masks if they have a cold walking mm -hmm. around London. Um, so they, they took to mask wearing. Now, this may or may not have anything to do, but it has, must be in some part to do with the fact that they, of the, out of 38 countries, they have the least, almost the least COVID deaths. In that, they have a population of 120,000 or so, Million. which is double ours. Million. And the, the total of COVID, million. total mm -hmm. of COVID deaths is seven, it's like 70,000, 75,000. Um, and Tokyo itself, which is one of the most crowded cities in the world, where you would imagine there are 38 million people in Tokyo. And, and maybe we should, Esther, just get into the habit of when we have a cold, any sort of respiratory infection illness that we just wear a mask just in case i mean we don't really have that culture in well in the uk certainly in europe more white more broadly um because we didn't have to deal with sars and all the other sort of outbreaks that um, many asian, asian countries had to deal with particularly in the noughties and early 2000s um it's one thing to recommend that people wear masks it's another thing to legislate and to you know pile a bunch of social pressure onto people that do or don't want to wear it um the reality is it's about individual assessment individual risk assessment we're all adults and um, we can all choose whether to wear them or not. Um, I'm still not, con the, the, the data on the efficacy of masks varies based on the kind of mask. So that mask, for instance, is not, I'm pretty sure it's not a N something, whatever, the prescribed I medical mask. You're probably right. Yeah, you know, the, the actual medical mask that, that stop the transmission because, you know, um, well, air particles can easily pass through that. that. But anyway. And also um, the, 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 fit, the fit needs to be tight around here. Yeah, exactly. So but basically, you know, it varies based on the type of mask. But at the end of the day, I don't think anyone wants to relive the kind of manic hysteria of, of the COVID days where we, we didn't have a lot of information to go by and people were telling someone on the tube, oh, don't eat uh, or take, don't take off your mask to eat a sandwich because you could give me COVID or something. Well, I mean, it was, perfect, lu that's it a was perfectly ludicrous. Valid comment. I would think what, that's a... What do you it, mean? It's a perfectly valid comment with, within a crowded space. Don't eat. No, it's, first of all, you shouldn't be eating on the tube anyway. It's a disgusting habit. Well, it's a sandwich. But, if no, someone's no, no, going no, to no, work. no, 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 no. I mean, seriously. We're feeding into another debate seriously, now. Seriously. Eating on people, public transport. People eating food amongst a crowded atmosphere of other people who are not eating. And have. I think that's a seriously disgusting thing to do. Uh, well, I think you're definitely in the minority. And I also think, I, you, I don't lived, think so. you live a very privileged life. If I you think you, I'm you, you always have the, the have the time I'm, to, I'm to go and seclude yourself to eat. Some people have busy lives. It takes 10 minutes to eat a sandwich. That's easy for you to say when you no, no, no. you aren't living the the bustling life of of young people that I'm actually not, end up paying not, for your pension. I'm, I'm so not, I'm just saying. 
That's a comment I wish I would like you to retract. I'm not retracting. I'm just saying. Seriously rude. No, I'm, I'm sorry. If you're if you're a tradesman so you're working you in London, you pay for my pension. Yes, young people pay for you all people's pension. You pay for my that's, pension. That's, that's not. That's, I have paid into that's my not, pension myself. You know, a miraculous. I think we've decades. fallen into. A, and, I, a and I want you to retract that. I'm not retracting. It's common rude. sense. It is not where common think, sense. Where do you think most NI payments go? Where do you think? No, no, no. no, no, no. Statistically, where do you think most? But Nina, I think she, I think what Esther's trying to say is she's getting to a point. And actually, but to 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 make that argument when all Nina was saying is she doesn't like people eating in public transport is, is well, that's not a convenient thing. How long have you been paying taxes for? But Esther, well, uh, five years. Nina, I think I have I'll, been, I'll probably be paying it a lot longer because I've I have been paying. Pension. I don't have I a problem have with that. Been, I'm just stating facts. Nina, I think Esther's point is you have been paying taxes. How dare you say that you are supporting me? Nobody supports. Nina, how, I, how exactly do you I think, think the government has work? already spent that money and so the money uh, that's going in to pay the pensions is the money that's being put in? I have from NI contributed, anyway, which is a fact. We are really going myself. to have to move on because that's not our debate, but that seems to have caused quite a stushy. Um, OK, we're going to speak to Moira from London. Moira, what do you think about this? Would you be happy to put on a mask just to try and dampen down the effect of this new variant? Hi, Storm. Yeah, I would, and I agree with Nina 100%. And I think I, I I just think it's really selfish because we've got this new COVID variant, and it's the older people basically that suffer, but, you know. And, and to put, the, the put a mask on for two minutes, you know. What I mean, be it on a bus or on a tube or in a crowded place. Yeah. I, I just think to myself, well, that's it. You're, at least you're not spreading your germs. You know, you're, you're not <laughs> yeah. going to catch it. Moira, though, is the reality not that we're constantly going to get new variants of COVID the same way we get new variants of flu? And if you want everyone to mask up every time there's a new variant, it kind of means we're going to get into a culture much like Japan, where if but you're... But why, why, don't, why don't we? Because well, at least I Japan, suppose... it's, it's like Nina says, you know what I mean? In Japan, there's seventy odd thousand pounds, seven, uh, sorry, seventy odd thousand um, but deaths or illnesses. Yeah, well, we covered before, that, Moira. The, so, so the reason not to wear masks is, I suppose, the social elements of it. We've seen during COVID that there was a decrease in social communication and abilities of young people. When I say young people, I'm talking toddlers here who were just learning to speak when they got to nursery. There was a real impact in 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 that way. Um, and and do we really want to get into a, a situation where we are a, a community where we we wear masks all the time? No. Well, do you know this? I don't think it would be a bad thing because okay. because at least even if you've got a flu or something like that, if you if you're loaded up with the flu and you're wearing a mask, at least at least you're sort of masking your your germs if you sneeze or whatever or. Got, do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you're if you're not, if you're, you're happy with that, absolutely, Moira. Thank you very much for your call, Stan from Hampshire. It's true. Why not? It's not a hardship, really, is it? Just to put one of these on. Morning, Storm. Morning. Morning, ladies. Morning. Uh, thanks for having me on. Um, yeah, I mean, it's uh, everybody. Well, I say everybody. I hated wearing them. Um, you know, it's not a nice thing to wear, um, but. If it is going to save something, then I want to see some evidence because, you know, there's so many things to and against. And, you know, some people will benefit from wearing them a lot more than others. Um, I don't think we should just put a blanket thing where we've all got to start wearing them again. Yeah, I mean, the problem with the evidence, isn't it, is that some people are wearing... Uh, good masks and masks that really work and then others are just wearing ones to show face literally uh, and uh, it make a small small effort I mean I, I, I agree I don't know how much these are going to, to really help the situation uh, but masks are expensive they're bad for the planet you well, know that's it. I mean yeah sorry um, yeah I mean they was littered all over the place it's like oh, we were just talking about vapes being littered all over the place um, you know amount of those throwaway ones are just thrown on the floor and, you know, it's like the same as, I mean, I can go to the petrol station and get a free glove from the dispenser if I want to protect my hand from either the smell of it or the dirt of it or whatever. Um, you know, we've we've come a long way and the germs, I mean, I hate germs, but um, we've come a long way anyway. You know, we're, we're contactless now. Um, we're going to end up being a cashless society, I shouldn't think, but in, in much too long. Um, so we're doing a lot to stop the spread of most things anyway. Um, so, I mean, do we all have to wear a mask? Is it going to work? 
I mean, I, I, I don't know, not a scientist, but these scientists seem to think, yes, it does. It definitely it slows down the rate in which this variant will run rampant in, in our society. Stan, thank you, though, for your call. Vanessa from Devon, what's your thoughts on this? Are you sceptical about mask wearing or are you, you quite happy with it? I'm happy to wear it. Um, I lost my mum very sadly to COVID last year. And I was with her um, in hospital and she had a mask and I had to wear a mask. Um, That's I had to wear the mask in the hospital with her because it was hard. I only had an hour with my mum and she died from COVID. And I've got my own health, my own mobility issues. And so, yes, I would wear a mask again to save lives. But, and I, that, I mean, that's absolutely horrible, Vanessa, um, and a terrible situation that I'm afraid lots of people had to go through. But, I mean, masks only have a limited... Um, impact in terms of s stopping the spread. If we did all the other things like washing our hands regularly, keeping a social distance, things that we've grown sort of accustomed through through the pandemic, especially with people working from home more as well, do you not think that's enough now? Otherwise, we're going to get into a situation where we are a culture like Japan and we may wear masks much more regularly. It's not enough, no, but then... I had to wear a visor and a mask as well as, you know, with my mum. And it was a horrible situation to be in. And I've, I've, lost, other peop I've lost other people from COVID as well. But losing a family member from COVID and my own dad had COVID as well. We all had COVID, all of us. But is the, all... is, it, is the sad truth not that, Vanessa, now that COVID has caught hold in, in the society globally... We're not going to see the end of it now. We will continue to see new variants and, and people are going to die from it. And that's the same way it, it has with flu now. True. I mean, my mum could have been saved um, from having COVID and from everything else because it just wasn't COVID that she had. Um, she had something else as well. But I see, which made her very, very vulnerable to it. Um, but this is a very scary situation for anyone who does have underlying health conditions that, that will be vulnerable to any new variant and new strains. It is. I mean, she has sepsis as well. Um, so sepsis and COVID together is not a good combination. No, it's not a good combination. I'm Absolutely. really, really sad for your, for your loss, Vanessa. And actually, if you've got other health conditions and you're sitting there looking into the face of a new variant of COVID, it must be a very terrifying situation to be in. And I suppose, you know, sitting watching the TV and watching people say, well, I don't want to have to wear a mask again would be quite frankly, annoying. I mean, I, I understand that, but, you know, that's... You take the risk when you when you leave your house, you could get hit by a bus. I mean, there are many, many things that could go wrong just by existing. Um, I think, But I think this is this is why it boils, boils down to an individual assessment. I had a friend who, who, who was young and healthy, like me, but she lived with her mother who was, you know, medically vulnerable, and yes. she chose to wear a mask, or she would ask us, you know, have you just been around anyone who you think might have COVID and all of that? So I completely understand that. I'm not saying I'm against it. Um, and if I had an elderly parent, maybe I would I would make the choice, you know, based on my circumstances. But at the end of the day, it boils down to individual choice. I think the problem is when it comes to individual choice is that some people will make the choice to do it and some people won't. And then you've got warring fractions, which becomes... I mean, well, I've if, 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 seen if, arguments if, starting if, in the supermarket. No, there isn't. If you know you live in a society where you are likely or you're vulnerable to get to, uh, get COVID, don't leave your house. But, but because think, you can't force... No, no, no. You can't force... No, your, no, you can't, I'm sorry, you can't there. force no, no, your no, no, fears no, no, on other people. You, you know, we, we do have a collective responsibility. And uh, and some people are, 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 you know... just Less collective than others. Absolutely, yes. And I mean, God forbid we have to get to that stage. This new variant may not bring this problem, but, you know... We, 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 we really shouldn't be selfish about it. I, I didn't, nobody liked wearing a mask. Vanessa, thank you very much for your call. I think you really brought it to our attention why it might be important to go back to wearing some masks, especially if you, you do feel like you have a cold or could have COVID.